So welcome back to Max Payne 2. Uh, for the last time we were just we just got here. So let's check out what everyone's doing. What you doing? Black guy? How's anyone supposed to find anything from here? Huh? You're asking the wrong guy because you're asking Max Payne. Right. Uh, uh. We found you out of it on V, covered in blood, burying the pieces of your wife and the pizza guy under a rose bush in the backyard. What the fuck? There's a bloody chainsaw in the bathtub, and by the looks of it, they had been shot in your bed. The murder weapons have your prints all over them, and you say you didn't do it. <laughs> Hell no! I'm a fool guy! I've been framed! It's a setup! I was getting too close to the truth, so they had to get rid of me. This should be good. Your wife and the pizza delivery guy had to get rid of you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah they, they were gonna whack me. Yeah. Motherfuckers, they, they, they were gonna whack me, steal my money. It was self-defense. Right, your wife and the pizza guy were trespassing in your bed and you killed them. No, I didn't kill anyone, it's a frame-up. Weren't you listening? A <laughs> frame-up. Okay, now I get it. Your wife and the pizza guy deviously conspired to set you up. They kill themselves in your bed with your gun, proceed to chop each other to pieces in your bathtub with your chainsaw, and finally lure you to the backyard where they patiently wait under the rose bush to inject you with V, and when you are helpless, they leak blood all over you and call the police. Anything to add? See, that's just it. I wish it was that easy. A and I know this sounds crazy, but they weren't in on it alone. It's much bigger than that. Basically, anyone who does home delivery is in on it. The mailman. And that means that the government is involved. The mailman told me all about it. So all we have to do is to get in touch with this mailman and we get the proof. See, that's not gonna work. He's dead. The mailman's dead. I'm sure the DA would go easy on you if you'd just come clean right now and told where you buried his body. I suppose it's not under the same rose bush. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. You're not listening. You failed to grasp how serious this is. <laughs> okay. So how would you like to take this forward? Give me a gun and set me loose, and I'll have this mess sorted out in no time. Wow. Okay, wise guy, the comedy hour is over. You shut up for a while so I can write this crap down. Wow. Um... Yeah, so welcome back to Max Payne 2 once again. Uh, <laughs> fuck, hold on, I gotta just take a couple... My mic, hold on. Ugh. 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 Alright. So. Doesn't look like I'm open for business. Sorry. When the door's closed, it's closed for a reason. We're watching that. And now, lords and ladies, continue. Get out of the way, Payne. Get out of the way, Payne. Mama, I tried to stop him, but he is beyond reason. Valentine has gone to a rendezvous with his mistress. The harlot. The harlot. The lady. Oh, good, good, Jack, my Oops. son. What is he? Water. Jack, my favorite son. Oh, I was putting off the inevitable. I had to go to my desk, get started on that damn report. Here's the hole. Okay, so my boyfriend, the loser jerk, sits on his ass all day and keeps playing these stupid video games. <laughs> you know, stupid dick justice and stuff. Doesn't go to work, gives me no thought. Unfortunately, being a jerk is not a crime. No, no, I wasn't finished. I'm getting to it. So I got real sick of it and threw the television out of the window. It was mine. I can do whatever I want with it, right? As long as no one got hurt. That's what I told him. He's my ex, really. But now the sicko's threatening to kill me. That's a crime, right? He's been playing those video games an awful lot. Makes him a very good shooter. Holding that controller's like holding a gun, they say in the news. You gotta help me. I fear for my life. Okay, miss. Sit down for a moment and we'll take your name and address and see what we can do about it. Okay. The fuck? Did you hear that? 
Guns don't kill people. Video games kill people. Yeah. Jesus. Welcome to New York City. Welcome to New York. Oh, because obviously, me in the way has nothing to do with this being. Okay. What? Who leaves this shit on? Turn off. I wouldn't be afraid to go home if you'd be there. I can give you my number in case you ever get an urge to protect someone in the middle of the night. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> anyway. Where the fuck am I going? I gotta take a piss. Next page style. Next page how to take a massive shit. Aching. For crying out loud! Is it too much to ask for some privacy? I'll be out when it's done. I'll be out when it's done. It's inevitable. My ass had to shoot out all the poop. Ten hey. four. Repeat. Can you verify that? Okay, stand by. <laughs> Go ahead. Negative on that. Can you verify the address? I thought cops sound like though. Roger that. Okay, can you repeat the plate number? Investigate further. Sorry, detective. Can't help you now. I need to take this call. Uh, can I take a call for you? 10-4. I'm so sorry, trash can. I didn't mean to fuck you up like that. I'm gonna go back upstairs. Alright, I found what's in this room! What the fuck? How do you expect anyone to remember your name if you can't spell it right yourself, Prasad? It's basic positioning. It all starts with a name. None of that matters. When I crack this case, Miller, they'll remember. Like you're ever gonna crack it. It'll be done when it's done. I'm <laughs> gonna do it right. It's the spirit of the law, not the letter. I'll be on your back about it till you do. You already put a snake in my bed. What more can you do? <laughs> what more can you do? Hey, Pay. Max Pay. Now there's a catchy name for you. Positioning. Like that's what the job's about. Sorry, I, I guess it's all about the position. Well, obviously it's a locked up lockup. Wow. What else is around here? I can. I think there's gonna be a shootout in this room. Yeah. What is in here? Oh, 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 oh. oh it's locked. Oh, 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 oh. God, that sucks. Took all my guns away, you fucking assholes. Positioning. Remember that. <laughs> I needed to talk to Mona. Behind bars, she wasn't going anywhere before I'd get some answers. The cells were downstairs. I needed to talk to Mona. Cells were downstairs. You can't go this way, Max, because it's a bad way to go. What a hat this is. That's a cool hat. What's the password? Hey. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. There's nothing more boring than sitting behind this desk. Buzz me in. Uh, yeah. Payne here. I need a statement from Mona Sack. Sorry, Payne. She's upstairs in a lineup. Fuck. Uh, mm. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs and do things. Ooh. Ooh. All right. This walking shit is annoying. 
Ooh. So watch it. You know what? We're gonna get mad at me. TV's bad for your brain. Oh, fuck you. A glass of gold. Sorry, Pain, you missed it. Make you Just poured myself the last famous. cup. You can always make Hi, more pain. Have we met before? Fucking asshole. Turn that on. This is really good <laughs> coffee. Anyone know who made it? Gold pain, did you make this? It's really good. Americans Avenger 9mm handgun. It's in the lineup. There's no lineup. Uh? The lineup wasn't on yet. I had time to go to my desk while waiting. Get started on that report. It's my desk? Hmm? Which one is mine? This is mine? Yeah, this is mine. Yeah. This is mine! It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinnie Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. I had to make Winterson see Winterson's it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Oh, itchy. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from a witness. Didn't she used to have the hots for you, Payne? I hear she has a new boyfriend. Oh. Getting laid would do her good. Talk about tense. They yes. say she kicked out her husband a couple of years ago. Been taking care of her blind kid on her own. No wonder she's edgy. Anyways, yeah. she's talking to an eyewitness in the interrogation room. Yeah, she needs to get uh, laid. I'm busy making Shut a Shut up, man. I'm trying. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? How the fuck did... Yeah, okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. No. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. Mona! You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. I wanted to talk to Winterson's witness once she was done with him. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place, but she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you. Never been to a police station before. Excited.